I guess when you're a country that's just now getting used to the idea of women driving cars, it's easy to see feminism as a form of extremism. So it should come as no surprise that the Saudi government sent out an ad that said as much. Apparently, the kingdom has a Twitter account, which by itself tells you the kind of anachronistic bullshit we're dealing with here. But they sent out a video the other day that listed feminism as a type of extremism right alongside other dangers to society like homosexuality and atheism. And this isn't just a meaningless rhetorical flourish, by the way. Under Saudi law, homosexuality and atheism are punishable by death which is already plenty fucked up by itself. But when their government starts conflating feminism with a capital crime, it's time to worry. And at the very least, it's time to reject the bullshit image that MBS is trying to sell about being a cultural reformer. You guys barely made it out of the 18th century. You get to the 19th century and maybe you get a cookie. But at the moment, it looks more like you're backsliding than anything else. But as bad as women in Saudi Arabia have it, it's at least comforting to know that there's still one place where women enjoy true and total equality and don't have to concern themselves with the antiquated problems of misogyny. And I'm talking, of course, about Donald Trump's America. This revelation comes to us from co-chair of Women for Trump 2020, Gina Loudon, who said in a recent interview that women should be thanking Trump and not just because he's a gentle grabber. It's because under Trump, women are, quote, truly equal for the first time ever, end quote. When asked to name even one single thing Trump has done that has positively affected the life of one single woman, Loudon went on to say, quote, it's unparalleled. There's no president that even comes close to having done for women what this president has done for women and the things that this president has done for women will be a legacy to our daughters, to our granddaughters, to our great granddaughters. Then she looked at the interviewer's face and decided that by the look on his face that she'd filibustered long enough and that she didn't have to mention that our great-great-granddaughters. And quick before I hand things back over to the guys, I wanted to give you a quick update on Pastor John MacArthur. And we talked about him just a couple weeks ago when he told a prominent female church reformer to, quote, go home. Anyway, he's back in the news again this week, warning men not to let women take control lest we steal their penises in the night. Quote, when women take over a culture, men become weak. When men become weak, they can be conquered. When all the men have been slaughtered, that's right, slaughtered, women can sit there with all their jewelry and junk. You've been conquered because you've overpowered your protector, end quote. So yeah, the key takeaway there is that it's his wife's jewelry's fault his dick doesn't work anymore. That and he mistakes what we want to do to him with what we want to do with men in general. So I guess I'll go sit about surrounded by jewelry as John MacArthur imagines women do with their spare time. And I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.